So the latest version of Evolution XOS custom ROM has been released. This one is 11.2 and it is actually having the latest Android 16 update based on the latest September security patch and so on. Many of the users are looking forward to the QPR1 stable update based custom ROMs, but I guess it's not released so far. Maybe in coming weeks, I shared that update with you on my Telegram channel already. But what about the things available with this new update? No major changes, but still it brings you some more and more features and more customizations if you love customizations then this one is here for you first of all in the theme section you will notice this option named as notification row transparency so this is the option which you can enable simply restart your system ui and you will see some differences there in the notification panel notification rows actually but i guess many of the users might not use this thing but if you use then you can also other things are just kind of same nothing new nothing unique it's still brings you a lot of features and customizations quick settings uh, with the previous update also we are getting some more and more features for example now you can adjust the rows and columns for example in this case if you choose columns to two three four five you can adjust those also we already have some customizations there but if you choose the rows I, I personally love to customize the rows here by default we have four rows available but in this case I'm going to choose five so that's actually Actually so good so yes that's that's why I'm just using this on my device I personally love this thing a lot we still have a lot of other features for example customizing the brightness slider and so on the other options are just kind of same also have the option for quick setting header images so basically means if you're able to notice the quick settings header image which i'm using right now there are a lot of other options available for you you can simply go and explore there are a lot of options available for you to customize to configure so don't miss it just go and check this out this these are some amazing things available also with this new update i'm not so sure but i just found that we have the swipe three fingers gestures section basically gesture actions and also the new ui the new preview ui as you can see the screenshot there we have the new swipe for screenshot and so on it's kind of similar to nothing OS. not so sure but it's there so definitely just wanted to let you know other than else for example the default launcher as expectedly it's pixel launcher pre-installed you can change it to any other launcher in case you want to but the pixel launcher by default is not a bad deal you can use some other launchers from google play store in case you want to what about circle to search as expectedly it's working fine without any issues you do not even have to update the google app on from your device if you want to use this thing on a device but it's completely fine everything else is just similar we have all the previous things available for example bcr named as basic call recorder because by default it has google dialer so we have that announcement available we have that you know that beep option still available there so you can use basic call recorder in case you want to what about some other things for example this play integrity api checker in this case by default definitely we are not getting the basic and device we are only getting basic but with the help of a key box you'll be able to spoof the bootloader spoofing bootloader as you can see bootloader is locked also we have basic and device integrity passing but not strong because it's been some time we are not getting strong integrity key box at least i am not getting but it's completely fine if you only need basic or device then you can find out the key box if if you want actually want strong integrity then i made a video recently on how you can get that with the help of some of the modules so you can go and explore that other than else other spoofing options are just working fine we have pixel props we have google apps spoofing play store spoofing and some security bypass features also present in this case like hiding the screen capture status application downgrade ignore windows secure flags and so on some status bar tweaks already there for example privacy indicators some options for wi-fi icons and so on so yes a lot of features a lot of customizations there which you can simply go and explore some battery style related options are also there status bar action chip is actually so good so outstanding and other than else what about other things notification panel i mean notification customization similar one thing let me show you if you move on to security and privacy options yes this private space is there i found in my previous video where i shared that 11.1 .1 version that yes private space was not there but no issues in this case private space is included and you can definitely use this thing in case you want to everything else is just similar so if you want to give it a try if it is available officially or unofficially so you can go and explore if it is not it might be available 
unofficially so this is it thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one until then take care